How you doing guys? Uh, you can probably tell from the look of my face I'm not in a very good mood. This is the second time I've had to shoot this video. The first one was 20 minutes long. Uploaded to my computer only to find that it was totally unusable. I had shot it outside. Uh, it was a beautiful day out. First really good day in like two weeks and it's been two weeks since I wanted to shoot this fucking video. Uh, seemed sort of windy out, but not so windy that it was going to fuck things up. But it turned out to fuck things up. The wind was blowing right into the fucking mic. Couldn't hear me at all. So here I am shooting this shit again. Bear with me. I uh, probably won't sound as enthusiastic and happy as I was before. Because I was quite happy to finally get this video shot. It's going to be a long one, I hope. Uh, hoping the battery power on my camera fucking holds out for this video. And so, first order of business, this is going to be a long vlog. Got my YouTube check, second one. $106.56. That is all because of you, the viewer, who has supported this channel. So thank you very much. As before, all the proceeds is are going right back into the channel. Um, probably be buying a big bottle of scotch. And coolers or something with the remainder of the money. Oh yeah, look at that. New Guinness glasses in the NSLC. Uh, vintage Guinness uh, advertising art. Three different kinds. Buy a uh, eight pack of Guinness cans and you can pick one of the glasses for free. Pretty good. Way better than the um, shitty Halloween glasses they released uh, last Halloween. Anyway, got my cheat sheet here. Order of business. First thing, shout out to Cutlery Lover. Uh, YouTube channel, fairly big one. Um, he does reviews mostly of knives, like hunting knives and things of that sort does like hunting and guns um, also does some beer reviews does some um, reviews of pipe tobacco now the reason I'm mentioning this guy is because my brother is who is subscribed to him gun geek um, and uh, I guess you can see why he's subscribed to him more uh, the interests there are much more uh, related um, he sent him a few beers from uh, the Garrison brewery here in uh, Nova Scotia uh, Cutlery Lover reviewed those beers and he linked my brother's channel but he also linked mine. Now I think he sort of did by accident. He thought that channel I think was like my brother's secondary channel for reviewing beers or something like that. But hey, either way it got me I think about 30 new subscribers. So awesome and if I can send any back to him well this is my attempt right here. So big thank you to him and uh, check them out if you're interested in like knives, guns, pipe tobacco, and the occasional beer review and whatever else, right? Uh, seems like a pretty nice guy, pretty cool channel. Um, next thing, Beyond the Poor podcast. Uh, this was done. This is done by Daniel Harper, the Indo Symbiosis, and Ryan Stumpy about Joe Jr. Both from Beer Geek Nation, of course. Both big prominent beer tubers on YouTube. Uh, they do this podcast, Beyond the Poor podcast. They only had a few episodes so far. I'm going to link down there to them. I'm also going to link, of course, to Cutlery Lover's channel. Um, very good. Uh, if you're a beer geek, uh, I think you'll enjoy it. Uh, it's a very good podcast. It's not one of those run-of-the-mill shitty podcasts where two guys are talking about fucking nothing for the entire time. Um, they have it well planned out, well thought out. Uh, both Daniel and Ryan are very good talkers. Very knowledgeable on the subjects of beer, of course. Um, and it's pretty interesting stuff. I mean, even when they're talking about beers and things I don't know about, uh, it feels educational, it feels interesting, and I can see them expanding uh, above and beyond what they've been doing so far. Probably going to be integrating like user feedback and all that other shit in the future. Um, I think it's very cool. It's, it's a podcast worth downloading if you're, you know, if you like me and you have certain podcasts you listen to every week. Uh, it's a good one to stick into your rotation because it's not too long. 
Um, and both guys know how to talk. They don't stammer. Uh, there's no dead, dead air or anything like that. Uh, it's really, really, really well done. Sounds professional. Good stuff. Check it out. Um, next, beer mails. I will not be doing any beer trades for the near future. Um, I have two beer mails going to England. I have one for Mrs. and Mrs. Re Mr. and Mrs. Real Guide, um, and one to Mr. Grim Viking. But he told me to hold off until his got to me. So once his gets to me, I'm sending that one off. Those are gonna be expensive. I've got one I have to send to Norm Beer Expedition. Uh, so that's gonna be ex expensive because that's all the way to fucking California. Um, and I got a minor one I'm sending to PEI Homebrewer, who is back online in case any of you unsubscribe to him because he's been gone for a while. Subscribe back to him, you naughty, naughty little buggers. Um, so yeah, I won't be able to afford to do any actual like beer trades for a while. Um, but I'll still take donations. You want to send donations to me, contact me, personal message me. We'll set it up. Um, what else? Uh, okay, that brings us to beer requests um, and upcoming reviews. Uh, okay, I lost my master list of beer requests. People request this, not just beer, like um, booze. It's actually mostly booze requests. Um, people always request, no, do this, do that, do that. I got this big master list. Computer crashed didn't have an external copy anywhere so it's gone um, so down below this video if you have posted if you've sent me a beer request or you can just personal message me too that's cool um, if you send in like a request for a beer or booze mostly booze um, in the last three or four months redo it, send it to me again um, so I can rebuild the list and this time I'm going to write it down on paper or some shit too instead of just having it on my hard drive just in case um, but yeah I, anyway uh, resend those requests um, of course I can't promise I can find any everything uh, especially with beer Like um, I, I recently had someone ask me for beer from to do review a beer from like Croatia or Corsica or some fucking place that there's no chance in hell I'd ever be able to get it even if I lived in like a major city here in Canada um, even if I lived in a major city in the US there's probably no chance I'd fucking get it so if you have if you're like from the Philippines and you're suggesting a review like your local beer you're gonna have to send it to me now I'm not asking for big beer mails sent to me for donations or anything one to two beers at the most, please. Like, I don't want to put a big personal cost on your end. Um, this is not for my personal gain so much as it is for uh, you guys out there who want to see me review this shit. Um, uh, shit, I, I use that term very loosely, of course. Uh, it may be awesome. Um, but, you know, like, it's a mutually beneficial thing. I get to try new beer, you guys get to see me review your favorite beer or whatever. Uh, so, personal message me if you want something like that reviewed, like, and we'll, and we'll set up the beer donation or whatever, right? Um, so, upcoming reviews I have coming, um, of course. Um, Hacker Shore, the, just a regular Hefeweizen. Uh, I planned on doing it a lot sooner, but I had a cold for the last week and a half that was really bad, so I kind of fucked up everything. And um, I have Jack, Jack, uh, uh, not Jack Daniels, uh, Jim Beam Black, so whoever requested that, don't worry, I got you covered. Uh, and Absentee Absinthe, that fake absinthe, um, it's the only one I can get at the moment. But someone requested that, one of my, one of my regulars request that I'm pretty sure so I'm finally gonna get to that too so you can scratch those off your fucking list if you have those for uh, requests now the main uh, portion of this video the the big thing uh, it's been a very long while since I've done like a question and answer video now 
I've gotten a lot of new subscribers lately and I think I owe it to give it back a little to those subscribers and maybe you know clue them into what the fuck's going on and this is of course open to every subscriber I have right so it's not just the new people but um, if you have questions you want to ask me put them right under this video now I should clarify there are some criteria for these questions um, any personal questions about uh, myself um, my family, where I work, uh, what my family does, etc, etc, etc. Totally verboten. Uh, you ask those questions, they're not going to be answered. You can, you, can an you can ask them to the fucking cows come home. They're not going to be answered. Uh, I'm strictly limiting this to questions about beer, booze, and related topics like that. Okay, so uh, keep that in mind if you have a question you really want to ask. Like, you want to ask what my favorite beer is or shit like that okay that's awesome uh, do not ask me you know uh, what is your financial situation or uh, what do your parents do or blah 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 like don't fucking ask it because I'm not gonna fucking answer okay but I want this to be a chance for new viewers and older viewers who maybe don't know some things about me uh, in relation to beer and booze etc uh, to ask questions so feel free to pipe in as many questions as you want um, I can't promise I'll answer everything I won't be answering duplicate questions over and over again of course um, but I'm gonna give you like a couple weeks the end of March so last day of March whatever that is was it 30 31st uh, that'll be when the video's posted. So you've got until then to ask questions, put them down there. I'll read them. I'll answer them. Everyone will be happy. And, you know, everything will be cool. Okay, guys? And I'm going to be slowing down the channel now for the spring. Only going to be one video a week at the most. Um, not the regular two to three videos that I usually average. So, like one review of like booze, one review of beer. I don't know if it's going to alternate like that, but that's basically what I'm looking at. Just have to slow down the pace, man, you know. I uh, can't keep up a pace of like three or four reviews a week or whatever, and it's just not practical. Like, I, I don't have a, a big life, big social life or anything like that, but I do have a fucking life. I can't be sitting at the fucking computer all goddamn day uh, editing videos and shooting videos, thinking of videos to shoot. It just sort of gets a little repetitive and drinking all that beer and booze just for video sake is pretty fucking unhealthy. Um, you gotta keep that in mind. So it'll probably pick up again at summertime. Probably uh, a lot more videos again, like three or four a week. But for the spring it's going to be slowed down considerably. So, um, okay guys, um, I guess that's all I need to cover. Stay cool, cheers to you, and we'll see you guys later.